Hey guys, um, this is Eden's one month update. Uh, she actually turned one month old um, on the 7th of December. I'm a little late getting this up because things are just crazy. <laughs> so I do, I do it when I can. So, so here we are. Here's Eden, and let me show it to you real quick here. Say hi, everybody. Say hello. Oh, that little cupcake butt. <laughs> okay. Um, she. This is actually a newborn outfit. It's a little tight, so she's kind of in between sizes right now. Um, newborn's tight, and zero to three months is really big, so she's kind of in between um, well everything's going well um, she um, is eating really well um, I give her formula and I do she does breastfeed once a day in the morning because um, I just don't doesn't matter how many times a day I try to put her on the breast, my I only make a certain amount, like maybe a couple of teaspoons. That's just because I have um, IGT and hypoplasia, and um, I just don't. I only have like maybe one or two um, actual milk glands, so I, I give her what I can. It's not much, <laughs> but we do what we can, right? That's right. She's sleeping pretty good. Um, she she will do like maybe um, a stretch of five hours, maybe six, like once a day, usually around six o'clock at night. Um, it would be nice to kind of get that pushed later so that <laughs> and get more sleep at you know in the middle of the night but she does really well so I'm only getting up maybe two or three times a night um, sometimes it's hard to get her back to sleep and I have to kind of do one of these numbers um, she's very um, not independent but she's just like very clingy you know I mean she's a baby obviously but um, so very different from Eli. Eli was pretty independent. Um, I could sit him, you know, sit him down, lay him down, and um, you know, he he was pretty independent. Like I, he didn't always need to be held. And as a matter of fact, sometimes he didn't like to be held. He was um, not very cuddly. You know, he would kick and he it would like freak him out to be close. It was really kind of strange, but. Um, her, she wants to, if she's awake, she wants to be held. And if, like right now, she's falling asleep, if I go to put her, try to put her down, she'll wake up and just start yelling and screaming and I have to pick her up. Um, which, it's really nice, but at the same time, it's difficult when um, you have a 15-month-old who is like, doesn't understand, God bless him, does not understand why mommy's paying so much attention to this little creature and not him. So uh, the adjustment with him has been difficult um, because he's pretty much uh, in the playroom a lot. Um, we haven't completely baby proof the house so we can't let him run around. We just can't. It's just he's too active and so we really need to completely baby proof. Um, and I can take her into the playroom and sit on the sofa with her and he'll come over um, and he'll like take her hands and clap them together and go ka 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 as his way to say patty cake. It's really cute. Um, but as I, the time goes and I sit with her and he's there, he's like, he starts getting really, you know, rambunctious and we'll try to like jump on her and so I have to get up and leave um, so I stand on the other side of the um, what do you call it gate thing and I feel really bad because sometimes she's awake for you know a few hours and I'm just standing there like 
trying to keep her quiet and he starts screaming and yelling and sometimes I have them both going and I don't know what to do I'm just like ah. <laughs> it's really it's difficult sometimes and it seems like when one is hungry the other one's hungry so they both want to be fed at the same time and Eli still has to be bottle fed by hand I mean by me I'm not every meal of course just the snack snack times like I give him a bottle for three times a day I give him um, half milk and half toddler formula because he's really not eating that well he's very picky and stuff so he you know and he can't for some reason won't do it himself he wants me to do it so bottom line is it's it's makes for a difficult time sometimes when they both want to be fed at the same time so I have to yell for daddy to come help <laughs> don't I um, so yeah it's it's it has definitely been an adjustment and we're still trying to adjust and Eli is trying to adjust and um, but we're getting there I know it's not gonna be forever you know all this craziness and it's worth it, isn't it? Yes. Oh, with that big yawn, oh my goodness. <laughs> I know, I know. So, um, she's losing her hair up top here. The back is, is good. It's kind of, you know, not real long, but it's longer. And it's, but up here you can just touch it and it just falls right out. So, it looks like a little old man with the... <laughs> balding it's okay you'll get some hair mmm her eyes are dark blue um, but the centers look like they might be like a hazel minor hazel green um, so I don't know and my husband's are dark brown they I think they're they're gonna change I think they're gonna be dark brown but I don't know for sure so only time will tell uh, I don't know what else. I'm not sure what her weight is now. Um, I took when I took her to her first visit, first and only visit that we've had so far. She was back up to her birth weight, which is 810, but I think she was 811. So I think she might be. She's at least nine now. I know because she's she's getting heavy. She's over nine. She's got to be. She's a big girl. She's growing fast. Yes, she is. Oh, so, um, I think, is there anything else? I don't know. I'm still working on writing down the labor and delivery. Well, it's not really labor. It's just delivery because I never went into labor. <laughs> but um, I hope to get that up soon. And I'm still doing or trying to do the vlog fast videos. But I'm doing them kind of out of sequence because we just got our tree. It's not decorated, so I don't know. We'll say it's going to be out of sync, out of sequence. Okay, I'm tired. I'm sorry. I'm very tired right now. Um, but I think that's it. I'm doing well postpartum wise. Um, the depression and anxiety are better. It's not perfect yet, um, but it's definitely getting better. And the incision is healed up nicely. Uh, I've lost how much weight? I haven't gotten on the scale this week yet, but um, I've lost all but maybe eight pounds. So I had gained 35 and um, total with her, and then I've lost all but eight. So getting there. All right, I guess that's it. Um, let me see if I can show you a little bit better. Oh, say hello. Come here. Say hi. Oh, those cheeks. My goodness. She hasn't gone to the bathroom. I mean, she hasn't pooped yet today or yesterday. So I think that's why she's squirmy and kind of cranky. And she, she likes to put her hand up like this. <laughs> She's just so like girly and dainty little hands. Right? Beep, beep. 
All right, guys. Um, I think that's about it. I'll see you later. Bye.